Hello, in this video we are going to create a canvas widget and put it using TK interface, but we're going to do it so that our entire project is set up as a class. Now just to do a quick reminder, we're going to actually write this from ground up. It won't take too long. So I'm going to say import TK enter as TK. Now I'm going to set up my class and I'm going to call my class display. Um, good, just polite is to capitalize your classes. Um, I'm going to say def underscore under def space underscore underscore init underscore underscore self. This creates what's called the constructor. Um, so remember a class is a blueprint to create many objects. So I can use the same chunk of code over and over again and the constructor is the special method that is called when you first create an instance. Think of it like this. If you buy a box, a bike, and it comes in a box, the constructor is the process of you building the bike the first time. You only do it once, but you have to do it before you could use the bike. So to do this, we say, we write our code inside our constructor. I say self.root equals tk.tk. .tk. This is very similar to if we don't do this as a class, we just have to remember that all our variables must have the term self in front of it. And I'm gonna say self.root.title is GUI canvas class self.root.main loop. That's gonna get us going. And now I have to actually create an instance of my class, and I do that by saying display equals, and then I call the class like this. So this will actually create an instance of the class called display, the small d, and this runs the constructor. So if I've done this correctly, there it is. So I want to create my canvas widget. So how do I do that? I say self.canvas1, which is going to be the name of my widget or the name of my object. And that is going to equal tk.canvas. And when I construct a canvas object, what I need to do is I need to specify the main window that it is part of. That's self.root. I'm going to set my width. Let's set it to, say, 300 and my height to 500. And, well, then complete the brackets there. Then I say self dot canvas one dot pack. So again, those are our two steps. Our two steps are we, we construct the widget, we construct the canvas, and then we pack it in. So now if I've run this correctly, there we go. Now, you'll notice that we have a bit of a problem in that I can't see if the canvas is there or not. A nice way to solve this problem is to change the background. Um, in the previous example, I changed the background by doing it right here. I said background equals black. And that works perfectly fine. There it is. But I'll show you a different way to do this now. Um, if for some reason I wanted to change the background of this canvas outside the constructor or somewhere else, I can use this. I can use self.canvas1. And there's this nice function called configure. And so configure, we're going to configure the background to black. This does the exact same thing. It just allows us to do it after the fact. So let's do, let's do a couple other things. I'm, I'm setting the height and width of my canvas. So presumably I don't want someone to change the size of the window. So I'm going to say size is 300 by 500 and self.root.max size is 300 by 500. And what this is doing now is taking that main window and stopping the user from being able to change those dimensions. And there we go. Hope that helped. Have a great day.